أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ما دي أبرار سنسيس الإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Nine tips on preparing for Ramadan in the month of Sha'ban. How to prepare yourself and your family for the month of Ramadan in the month of Sha'ban will be the subject of our talk today, insha'Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, we all know that the advent of the month of Ramadan it's one of the great blessings that Allah Taala has bestowed upon us as Muslims, because the blessed month of Ramadan is one of the good occasions. It's one of the excellent occasions in which the gates of Jannah, the gates of Paradise, are open, and the gates of Hell are closed. This is in accordance with. Uh, the uh, authentic hadith from our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this in the blessed month of Ramadan the gates of Jannah are open and the gates of hellfire are closed Ramadan is the month of the noble Quran therefore a Muslim should rejoice a Muslim should be happy at the arrival of this blessed month and alhamdulillah, all of us do. We are all happy uh, for the arrival of the blessed month of Ramadan. My dear brother and my dear sister, we are still in the month of Sha'aban, therefore we have a great opportunity to implement the following nine tips on how to prepare ourselves and our family for the blessed month of Ramadan. So let us summarize it as follows. Tip number one, we have to offer sincere repentance. You have to offer sincere repentance. Tawbah nasuha. In order to start your ibadah, to start your worship in the month of Ramadan with a clean heart and peace of mind. So sincere repentance is important. Tip number two, offer a lot of dua, a lot of supplication. You should ask Allah Taala in the month of Sha'ban to let you live until the month of Ramadan with a strong religious commitment and good health, good physical health, and to accept your good deeds. Tip number three, Perform any obligatory fasting that is pending on you as fast as possible. Means you should discharge the duty of any outstanding obligation fast on you as fast as possible. Tip number four, seek knowledge. This is very important. Seek knowledge in order to be able to follow the rulings related to fasting and to understand the virtues of the blessed month of Ramadan. You cannot worship Allah without, without, without proper knowledge of what you are doing. So knowledge is very important, especially knowing the rulings related to fasting is very important. Tip number five. Try to complete as soon as possible any obligations, any undertakings, any tasks that may distract you from doing your ibadah in the month of Ramadan. Anything that may distract you from doing acts of, uh, acts of worship, your ibadah in the month of Ramadan, try to complete it as soon as possible in the month of Sha'aban. Tip number six. Teach your family members, wife and children, and those under you the rulings on fasting, what is allowed and what is not allowed. 
this is very important and also encourage the young ones to fast tip number seven as an exercise try to fast some of the month of Sha'ban in preparation for fasting Ramadan if possible try to fast some of the month of Sha'ban because our beloved Prophet Muhammad used to fast a lot in the month of Sha'ban so try to fast the month of Sha'ban some month of some of the month of Sha'ban in preparation for fasting the month of Ramadan tip number eight read the noble Quran a lot start to read the noble Quran it was said that the month of Sha'ban is the month of the Quran readers so try to be one of them try to be among them so start reading the noble Quran in the month of Sha'ban finally tip number nine remember the, the virtues of the month of Ramadan virtues that are in the month of Ramadan this includes remembering the great virtues of the night of power Laylatul Qadr which is better than thousand months of Ibadah thousand months of worshipping Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alfi shahar my brother my sister in Islam these are nine tips that I wanted to share with you in order to prepare ourselves and our family for the blessed month of Ramadan Allahumma ballighna Ramadan Allahumma ballighna Ramadan Ya Allah the merciful let us reach the month of Ramadan Ya Allah the merciful let us reach the month of Ramadan Ya Allah the merciful let us reach the month of Ramadan and accept all our good deeds bar hada wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا والحمد لله رب العالمين بارك الله فيكم